Crusader Kings 2, brought to you with um, some notes at the bottom of the screen, so we can actually decide what we're doing for once. So I've written up this, uh, the, the many goals of our rang, and uh, we've got we've got some things to start this episode, but we'll go through the list. So first one, we've got to get the, the Amulet of Kings somehow, because we sort of came to the conclusion at the end of the last episode that the event is completely bugged. We've got, what is it, 100% chance now? To try and find the the Rim and Tombs. Yeah, second from the bottom, 100% chance of Rim and Tombs to go down. I've just realised you can't actually see that. Hang on. Let's try that again. There you go. So 100% chance yearly of finding them. The event is bugged. I did have a look through the files. There's no reason it shouldn't work. I'm going to assume there's a modifier somewhere that makes it so it has to be a particular age. You have to be a particular culture. Something like that. I can't think why that would be, but there we go. So, I've actually gone ahead and written an event here, which will basically let us start the event manually. I've done I've done some other things with it as well, uh, but we'll get to that when we get there. Uh, I've said that, we, you know, it has to be May, it has to, it's going to cost us a lot of money, and we have to have a certain amount of prestige and whatnot. Um, but we can fire the event manually, because for some reason, it doesn't work in the base game. I'm not going to do that this episode, though. I'll, I'll let people give me some feedback on that, whether or not. You know, it's just fate that he's not going to find the amulet or something like that. Or whether or not we actually want to go through with it and lead a party to Sancrator. Um, what I actually want to focus on in this episode is the second point of our many goals. And that's to sort out the horrible, horrible religions map. Because if we... Is that Christmas music? <clears throat> yeah, so, like... <laughs> <laughs> like I was saying, the religion map is an absolute mess. Um, I can't. It's an absolute mess. There's only actually a very little bit of Oriel left on the mainland. Most of it is over in uh, the Somerset House and a little bit in Alinor. So we really need to sort this out straight away. The Ideal Master's Worship is, is gone nuts. It's everywhere right now. It's it's sort of a, an argument between the Eight Divines and the Ideal Masters in Cyrodiil. Got a little bit of Oriel in Valen Wood. So, that's really going to be the focus of this episode. I'm going to be revoking Turtles from Vassals, dishing it out to proper, you know, Aeliad Oriel. It's time we got rid of the Ideal Masters for good. We're also going to be saving up for the Diedrich invasion on the Ideal Masters. Now, whether or not we're going to do that through Clavicus Vile or a different god, I haven't decided yet. Oh my good lord. I don't know if you can see that, but people are now messaging me on Steam. We won't worry about that. Um, so... I don't know whether we're going to do that through Calabacus Vile or a more suitable Deidre. I did read on the wiki, I was reading about Aeliad Religion on the, the wiki, and they did have worship of Meridia, Molagbal, and Mehrun's Dagon. I think Mehrun's Dagon would probably be the best one, because that's sort of, you know, reminiscent of Oblivion. So yeah, this episode, we're going to be going around every vassal, revoking it, and dishing out titles to uh new characters we're gonna have a lot of rebellions this episode i can already tell goal three get a worthy heir absolutely no idea how we're gonna do that no idea at all um we might have to find a wife who's already pregnant because i think that's the only way for the game to recognize or, or for somehow for our wife to sleep with someone else and to have us think the child is ours i think that is the only way at this point we can actually have an heir but I'll look more into that later. I have actually done a peek around on the files of the Get Dragonblood event. So basically we're in the worst scenario for becoming the Dragonborn. Because Aeliads are the second worst culture for becoming Dragonborn. So Aeliads and Ultima are joint second from last place. I forget how many there are. And then the lowest chance are the, the Akaviri. So over on the other side of the planet. Old characters also have a lower chance of becoming Dragonborn, and I think at this stage we're something like, we're 263 years old. The only other stipulation is that you're not undead, which we're not anymore, um, and that you're not immortal, because I think that would obviously make it so if you're playing multiplayer or something like that, you're the immortal Dragonborn, no one else can be. But besides that, we're actually in a pretty good position for becoming Dragonborn, because traits like genius uh traits like strong quick robust shrewd things like that give you a positive multiplier to becoming dragonborn i've got the the traits open in my other monitor uh so it's possible 
But the only other thing we need to do is make sure there are no living Dragonborn. So that's going to be our background task, is just keep an eye on there is. Oh, look at this guy. So Bretons and Nords have the highest chance of becoming Dragonborn. This guy here, Sesamund. So we've basically got to keep killing off the Dragonborn, make sure none are alive, and hoping eventually, through sheer luck, we get picked. But like I said, we've got such incredible traits that even though we're alien and old, we've, we've also probably got a high chance of becoming Dragonborn. Another thing is you get double chance if you're a prisoner. Do we specifically want to get ourselves imprisoned? Probably not, but it's kind of a cool, uh, kind of a cool thing. Oh, look, we can force him to join guilds. Oh, wow, okay. So is he... Why can we do that? Order Sesamon to join the Fighters Guild. I don't know why we can do that. He's not... He's in High Rock. Very weird. <coughs> ah. Sorry, I'm allergic to uh, false dragonborns. Let's see if we can... I don't know. Kill him? Kidnap him? Kidnap him and sacrifice him. Hey, I like that idea. Alright. Sorry, Sesamond. And while that's going on, we've got to sort out this mess. Now, I'm not sure where to start. Maybe it's worth starting in Valenwood and working up? Yeah, let's do that. Also, the culture's map mode is looking really good. Look at this. The alien have really come back. So, all the Imperial Isle, like most of the Imperial Heartland, actually. We're getting rid of a lot of Clovia. T to my surprise, there are a lot of Bosma still, but I suppose they're more likely to spawn there. I don't really know why Cyrodiil is quickly turned back to Aelia, but Valenwood hasn't. You kind of think it'd be the other way around. All right, let's begin. Um, we'll, we will start in Valenwood. So what we've got to do is basically go through, because only ideal master. We have a religious revocation, by the way, which means we can revoke these oh god they're all gonna say no aren't they <laughs> okay this is gonna be fun um let's start in the home counties in that case yes so so because we have religious revocation we can just take whatever we want from them we also want to turn off auto stop plots i want to imprison any ideal masters vassals because if they're in prison and you revoke title they don't have a choice they can't rebel with 56... Let's try it. Okay, so that's one person down. 47%. I mean, chance are they were going to rebel anyway. And if they rebel, we just put them in prison and revoke the title anyway. So we might as well let chance do some of the work for us. 50% chance. Hey, this is working out really well so far. It's another rebellion. We don't want to get too many. I think we'll limit it to like three rebellions. Because we are not incredibly strong. And because a lot of the vassals dislike us because we are Oriel rather than Ideal Masters. Plus we also, you know, purged ourselves of Lichdom. Which they're probably not best pleased about. 55% chance. Alright, I think they'll do for now. Uh, yeah, let's go deal with this. Let's raise troops. Call in allies. Have we got a rally point? Where is that? We, we definitely don't want that. Um... Oh, it was just outside the Imperial City. I was just about to say, we'll um, set the rally points just outside the Imperial City anyway. We don't really want them to go into the Imperial City because otherwise they have to take a river crossing back out. Oh, we could get trapped. All right, let's raise our troops. Oh, did I turn on auto stop plots? No, I just turned it off. Maybe it's just the last few that went through the game thought we were directly asking them for that. So we've got a lot of rebellion in Valenwood. Wait, that's like one, two... Three, four, six, seven different duchies. Have they got allies? Oh, look, other people have joined their wars. Well, that's good because it also makes them traitorous. But I also wasn't expecting them to have many other people join them. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, groom and air. 20% extra fertility, why not? And what can we do? Requisition fishing ships, I assume, from everywhere. Yeah, let's not do that. All right, uh, let's see what we've got. So we're going to have a battle here. So I'm going to put these troops down. In fact, I'm going to put down all the troops in Valenwood because they're just going to cost us war score. Let's go ahead and get rid of a couple of these guys. Uh, let's put you down. Those guys are actually going to win. But after they've won, we're immediately going to put them down. I think everyone else can get to the rally points safely. So we'll carry on. Uh, let's start in Cyrodiil and work our way down. This could be a long episode. And like I said, I'm just going to record this whole thing in one episode so that if people want to skip constant rebellions, they can. Okay, we're, all, we're losing these walls pretty significantly. It's not a big deal. 
Uh, I'm going to untick that because I'd like some feedback before we start that. Hey, we can level up in the uh, Greybeards. Is our wife... Our wife is still alive. Yeah, so where the... Um, where it crashed before I could save it last time, I had to revert back to the autosave, which means our wife is still alive, but it doesn't really matter right now. She's a she's an incredibly good wife. Holy shit. Patient, brave, just, kind, greedy, strong, fair, follower of Magnus. Wow. Fair enough. Um so yeah, let's let's move over to here for a start. We've been promoted. We received a beautiful god and worship in Tamriel. Uh, we got a book from somewhere. Learning plus one. Okay, well, one of the Deidre can have that. I've got to double check before we finish whether or not we are done with Clavicus Vile. Here you go. We're just keep an eye on our Dragonborn plot as well. So the army's just getting down here. Let's move these 9,000 troops south. Just to help out with the war score. And then go ahead and counter siege what we're losing. Let's merge these armies. What's the supply like in Valenwood? Around 25,000. Uh, 19,000 in provinces, but we've got 17,000. So we can have some pretty huge army stacks without having to worry about it. Oh, great. So we got two uprisings as well, simultaneously. Uh, I might have bitten off more than I can chew. Let's immediately send those up there. Get this war dealt with it as quickly as we can. A copper ring. Sure, why not? So this guy, because we're not actually getting war score here, is an ally in someone else's war. Probably probably this person here. Senalana? We, we could check, but it's not really worth it. Let's go ahead and just siege this down a little bit. We're not losing many troops doing that. A couple of hundred, but it's probably worth it just to get some of these wars sweeped up. Ooh. Uh... We might want to dive onto that pretty quickly. He's only got a thousand men. It's not a huge amount to worry about at this stage, I don't think. So let's take these men. March them over here. Uh, disappointed but understandable. I can't be bothered to sort out the council at this stage. We've got bigger things to worry about. Sorry, let me turn that off. Completely forgot about that. My mistake. Let's merge these units. We should win this. And a new book. Let's turn the speed down a little bit as well. Okay, so let's counter siege, and then we immediately need to sort out uh, this guy here. And who is that? So these are his troops. I think we'll counter siege that and immediately deal with that. 68% already. He, he really managed to siege down a lot of provinces quite quickly. So 100% on that. Don't bother sieging that province down. Uh, you can move into here, and you can now move down here. Alright, let's put the speed up. We can call in allies. I mean, they're going to decline, so... It's not a big deal. No, unfortunately, I cannot join you in your wars at this time. How con convenient. Alright. And which province this is? It's this one here. So we could go ahead and siege down the top level just for some quick war score. I think that's probably for the best. Um, I don't particularly want the spy master that hates me at this stage. I will be honest. Alright, how are we doing there? So we're just about to hit the capital of that one. Alright, let's take the top level. There we go. Immediately flipped it to 9% war score. Um, let's move through Green Shade. What did we get there? A raven. We stole his raven. Why not? <laughs> Do you want maybe some valuables, you know? Some gold, jewels? No, take his raven. Okay, let's counter siege this to 37%. I assume that's because he's also taken this. Getting back war score that we've lost is going to be a bit of a pain here. Right, let's take that and then move down to here. We've we've actually had a lot of problems to siege. That's my mistake. Oh, that's the other rebellion there. A Greyrock Bandit Horde. Oh. It's not actually a peasant revolt. It's just a... How weird. Okay. Um, I'm going to split this and send a stack of 5k back up there. I assume we've got commanders on these. It's my mistake. I should have double checked. No, no, no. You're, you're definitely going to stay there. 
And let's sort this out very quickly. Are we leading troops? Where are we leading troops? No, we're not. Okay, well, we definitely need to be. Let's take that out. Okay. So, where are you? Oh, okay, you're here. Well, that's convenient. Let's go ahead and siege couple. 61% with that guy. Hopefully, if we take out his capital, that should give us the war school we need. 68. Wow, oh, he's got a lot of provinces. A lot of holdings, I should say. Alright. Uh, go ahead and hit that. Okay. Apparently, they're quite fast. Alright. That's that dealt with, I assume. Wait, is that the remainder of their armies there? For God's sake. Okay, we've got to head up here. I don't think we're in any place to worry right now. We're only at 30% war school with that one guy. Right, let's finish this war. Uh, let's move you down to... Let's move these guys down to camp siege. You can be in charge of just sieging in general. With this army down here. Spending lots of gold on... Uh... Oh, we've got our monthly balances. Definitely in the black. So we haven't got anything to worry about there. More bandit hordes. Okay, great. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. After this episode, we won't have to worry about this ever again. Just a minor setback. Let's take out these armies. Uh, so it takes up to 79%. Siege that. We're at 84. And take out these guys on the way across. Alright, so we've got... Yeah, no, they're, they're for counter-sieging. I think that's more important at this stage. What have you got left? Who are your allies? It's got this guy here. Ah, so it's these troops. It's up to 87%. Ah, I see. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and turn down the music. For some reason, it's really decided to ramp up. There we go. That's a bit better. I can think now. Okay, 100% war score. That's one dealt with. Let's go ahead and accept his surrender. All right, now we can really focus on what's left. So, we're going to have you siege snap fine. Uh, those bandits are a little bit of a problem, but it's not. Actually, no. Let's move you down here. I'd rather deal with this first, seeing as they've got the most war score. We're at 82% with these guys. Let's take out a couple of their... A couple of the provinces they've sieged. 87. Uh, let's move you to the center. Oh, let's just put someone else on the center. Sod it. 87%. Uh, so now you can go deal with the bandits, because they're genuinely getting out of hand. 100%, there we go. Oh, right. <laughs> this got out of hand really quickly. And we've got two peasant revolts, so I've got to remember to deal with the religious revolt as well. Oh, that was the religious revolt? Oh, these are the bandits. Right, it's Grey Rock again. Let's move our marshal over there. You suppress that. Let's hire a... Spy master that preferably doesn't hate us. You'll do. Alright. Well, this is fine. Let's move you down to there. So, these guys are allies. So, we want to focus on the primary title, which is down here. So, if we move you just to go sweep up his troops. Well, that should be the end of the religious roll. We're at 97%. Of course, the less ideal Masters vassals we have, the less likely they are to go in rebellion because they'll have less allies and less people that share a common cause with them. So hopefully we won't get this many revolts after we've dealt with this nonsense. Hey, we can level up in our uh, Greybeard Society again. And we got idle council members? Why are you not proselytizing? Oh, we converted it. Sweet. Uh, sure, go for Pell's Gate. We'll just work out from the capital, like I said. Important decision available? Recruit court physician. Ah. That is, that is actually important. Um, I'm going to pick an ideal master's worship because they're more likely to say yes to us revoking them if they like us. And we'll ditch out some honorary titles as well for the same reason. Cupbearer? Here you go. 
Paramount Night. Food taste Wait, is that a negative? Yes. So in some mods, in the Game of Thrones mod, it's not always necessarily a negative. I think they should just take out the negative titles because I generally just as assign them and then forget that, you know, people don't necessarily like being the court jester. Keeper of the Avery. You can look after that raven I stole. Chief gem cutter. Okay, right, we're good. Sorry, time out, everyone. Stop the wars. I've got to... <laughs> I've got to give out my uh, title of Chief Food Taster. There we go. Alright. So we've got a lot of traitorous vassals in our prison now. Look at this. 14 of them. A lot of them are nobodies. Can we sort by title? Here we go. Uh, he's an infidel, so we haven't got anything to worry about. Just take everything. We revoke everything, and then I'm not going to make the usual mistake. So what I normally do is revoke it all and then say, oh, I'll give it all out at once. We actually can't do that because our vassals will hate us so much. I don't think we have the ability to give out titles freely, do we? Grant titles. Oh, it's ruler. No, we can do that. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. So beforehand, when this happened last time and I was giving out ideal masters titles, uh, I still had council. Had to vote on... Uh, which titles I could give out. And because you hold so many duchies, the council have a massively negative opinion of you. It's probably one of the stupidest game rules. Alright. I thought it said Umaril then. Oh, it does say Umaril. The Umaril? Probably not. Let's hope not. Okay, sweet. Uh, who else have we got? I'll take this one. There's one thing, an another problem with CK2 is it doesn't uh, reorganize menus. So it still thinks that guy has that title until you unpause. It's a, it's a bit of a minor complaint. Okay, I, I get it. But it does the same with the character finder as well. Six eight green shade. We'll take this one. All right, is that everyone? Look at that. Wow, we revoked 14 titles there. 15 titles. Okay. Well, that's helped out a little bit. Let's start dishing these titles out. So, what do we take? Uh, we've got... So, this whole province here. Let's go ahead and search realm. My religion. My culture. Uh, ruler, no. I don't think gender matters because we've got full... Um, we should have full gender equality. I think we already had that filter, but I'll just save over it anyway. And we want to give you... Which one was it? Should have remembered the name. Normal horse. There you go. You're welcome. Okay. Um, what else have we got? Have we got the whole province? Or is that just... No, so we've got this guy as well. Who is Ideal Master. We're going to revoke that. Oh, shit. Shouldn't have unpaused. What have I done? Okay. Well, that's fine. Look. It's a minor setback. <laughs> we've just one province. So we'll grant you... Uh, What's it called? It says Narrow Nagaya. Okay, grant... Narrow Nagaya... Uh, we, uh, we can do that, and I think the revocation will go through. I want to make it so all the vassals under them are not Ideal Masters. I completely want to get rid of Ideal Masters worship, but it's difficult to do because I've set the realm up so that... I, I've already done this once before, basically, with a different religion. We could just kill her, and then the type will come back to us, but... Okay, we do have righteous imprisonment. Let's have a look. 51%. Look, our armies are around, so we might as well just carry on with this. Oh, good God. This is a mess. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, green shade. We do have the whole province of green shade, so we'll give that away. Wait, no, you're in green shade? Oh, God. Um, right. So, what we do is so we say, you can have green shade. I really should do this one province at a time. Okay, I've learned my lesson. I remember what the problem was. Let's have a look. We've, we've somehow got this as well. What province is this supposed to be part of? Macamentian? 
Sure. You know what? Stop this. Let's just employ a new steward for each province. Because we are going to run out of people before we run out of provinces at this stage. Uh, employ a new steward. He's okay. And you can have, what is it, MacMentian? Where is that? Oh, no, wait, it's a uh, part of MacMentian. There you go. All right. We don't want to hold too many duchies, though. That, that's sort of the main issue. Oh, so we have all of this. That's pretty good. So we create a new vassal here. And we will go realm. Steward. Uh, here you go. Wait, who had better stats? Yeah, she's got cancer, which is why I didn't want to give it to her. So you can have this one. Good. All right. 13 out of 9. If I do do this province by province, this is going to take a very long time. Uh, here you go. Grand Land title. Is it Nettleshin? Oh, there we go. So that's two provinces that are his. One that's the ideal masters, but it doesn't really matter. How's Welkind? Weird. Um, let's get rid of this. Okay, 11 out of 9. What else have we got that we don't want? Redfur? Where is that? It's in Gliverdale as well. Did we, did we just give that away or is that still all ideal masters? Okay, good. Like, so we definitely need to do it province by province. So we'll give that to... We're still on landed? I thought I gave you land. Uh, Limpar. There you go. 10 out of 9. Oh, we were 10 out of 9 anyway, right, because we had Sancrator. I might just give that away again, to be honest. We're not getting the event, and that was the whole reason I wanted it. So, here, you can have that back. There you go. Right, nothing to worry about. So, we've still got everything in the Imperial Isle, and that's it. Perfect. Right, let's carry on. Oh, God, this is going to take so long. So, we should now, if we go to the Religions map mode... That's terrible. <laughs> Luckily, the shields are different. Otherwise, this would be a lot harder to sort out. So basically looking for anywhere without this uh, this style shield here. So the regular Christian feudal style shields in the uh, base game. Alright, uh, he already wants peace. Fair enough. Okay, so revoke. Eastward. And you're... Bosma, okay, fair enough. Revoke Bramblewood. Okay, there we go. So we can actually give away a whole duchy here. So this is probably when we want to open here, employ a steward. And you get the whole duchy. What was the duchy called? Eastwood. Should be at the bottom of the court list. There we go. Grant Eastwood. Okay, so that's a whole duchy that's alien. So you are next. We just want to surround these provinces. What you can do is, is something really cheesy. Have it so the army is a day away. So 11th of Sun's Dawn. Then revoke the title. Because that way if they rebel. Your armies are just going to land straight in his capital. Oh it's saying that they are rebellion wars. So we could just stand our armies in his provinces. So we'll take this one. And. Okay, we've got to wait for him to respond. We'll take. Snapvine. Okay, so that's another whole province. What's that one? Snapvine. So it's Realm. Wow, she's a really good steward. Okay. And again, the reason I'm doing steward is that they have a high chance for religious and cultural conversion. So there's Snapvine. Alright, what have we got next? We'll do this one. This is, go this is going to be the whole episode, so I don't blame you if you tap out now, by the way. Let's move our troops down because she's a maybe. Mankind is unlovable, I agree. Especially with all these rebellions. No, 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 no. We're not joining any plots. Uh, we've got an idle council member. Whoa! Oh, she's ideal masters. Oh, no. There is also that. That our ideal masters vassals are going to hate us now. Because we revoked multiple titles at this stage. Or something like 14, 15 titles. So, let's employ a steward. Because we can. Um, sure. Go nuts. And we want to take your... Province. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. 
Well, I will admit, I'm not surprised at all. Luckily, she's the one leading the revolt. How many troops do they have under them? 31,000. <laughs> right, so. Open spellbook. Luckily, we've got enough cash to really buy a lot of mercs. Let's go ahead and summon Dramora. Oh god, we need so many Dramora. Please, help us. Okay, right. We're just going to keep them in the Imperial Isle. Hopefully, if we can capture in battle, this war will end immediately. Because um, she now counts as the the top level of this title. We could always kill her. Because it's a revolt, it should end the war. So, we, all the Ideal Masters vassals basically have just rebelled against us. So you can see the couple of, of provinces that we just dished out there. Oh, I can't believe that. Did he take... No? Is that different? No, he definitely has both. I don't know how that happened. Right. Let's put the speed down. Let's hire some mercs. Let's hire some holy orders. Okay, well, we can't. Um, luckily, the mercenaries are really, really, really cheap. Let's hire enough so we don't end up in the red. It gives us 35,000 troops. We now have more men than them, which is good. Uh, we got 21,000. That's pretty large for a stack. We'll do that. We've also got this 4,000 stack, which I'm going to keep around. Let's put the speed right down. See where the troops raise up from predominantly. Oh, God. Our entire council resigned. Uh, they really weren't happy. Well, at least we're leading the siege on this province here, right? Eh? That's kind of cool. On the capital. Um, so we really can't see where they're coming from now because we've lost line of sight on everything. They haven't got any morale yet. So what we really want to do is, with our Deidre and our other standing army, sweep up. We're going to keep these guys this side of the river. And generally just going around hitting what we can early on. Wow. What a mess. I don't think I've ever seen a revolt in CK2 this big. Right. So is she... She's in her capital. So we could potentially see just down and capture her immediately. And we'd win the war. I don't think we're going to. But we could. Right. 4%. What other provinces does she directly own? That's it. Well, that's going to make this war fun. So we can take out a thousand there. We're going to take out a thousand there. Will you take out those? We've got to sort of wait for some big stats to come together before we can get a good amount of war score. Unfortunately, they're going to have a significant amount of ticking war score. Um, because they technically control the majority of the uh, war goal. But it's fine. We'll manage. Where are they moving to? So they're moving there. So we'll chase them. We want to make sure all of our armies are doing things. I think the Deidre can probably win that. Let's give them some troops. Some uh, commanders, sorry. Alright, so we've got victory there. A victory there. There's a 2,000 stack heading up. So we'll head down to meet them. Wow. I really can't believe that. <laughs> hey, Army of the Wretched. We're still pals, right? No, we're not at all. Okay. Do we have any allies at all? No. We just have tribal vassals. That's really annoying. Sure, we'll leave you there to siege because you're only a 4,000 tank. We really should be defending the Isle because there's a lot of war score there. You know what? You guys definitely will just keep an army stood in the Isle because they could bring boats. 6%. Alright, we're going to hit an army there. Um... So the only places they can actually cross the Nibbin are here and here. So we could send that. They'll probably move round and meet a bigger stack here. So I'm going to move these guys over towards this huge area of land that we can't see. Just so we've got some eyes over there. Alright. What do we want to do with our vassals? Because they're going to lose us war score if we're not careful. Let's have them attached to our rank. Unfortunately, they haven't got many men to lose us war score with. So there's a 1500 stat there that hopefully we'll catch. We will... 
Uh, so we're going to catch that stack, and this battle's about to win. 5%. We've actually lost war score despite the fact that we're winning battles just because of the ticks. 7%. Okay. Um, we'll hit that 200. It's not really worth much, but it's better than nothing. So they're actually going to retreat into our Deidre, which is fine. So you guys can defend the Isle. You need commanders if you're going to do that. Um, they're not our best commanders, but they'll do. We've got a uh, Maoma there. Okay, so all our commanders are occupied now. Um, an advisor. Advise me on how to win this war. No, I'm joking. Um, let's obviously pick one of our strong commanders. Where are most of their armies? I think they're all just still spread around. Yeah, let's still go for that 1500 stack. I was going to stop this counter siege, but I'd rather let some armies come together a little bit rather than chasing around these tiny stacks. All right. Um, what the fuck do we want to do? What a mess. Okay, well, there's a 2000 stack. Hey, look, we've got some big stacks here we can pick up some more score on. But we do have to make it so they're not going to conglomerate. And are we... Oh, God, we're losing 115 gold a month. Wow. Uh, our steward... Collect taxes. Wow. Um, we might not be able to afford these mercs. We're not really doing anything with this stack. How many troops have they got left? That's the real question. We'll just match them in troops. They've got 25,000. We've got 35,000. Let's put down this 10k. We need to be not losing money. The second we get in negative money, even though we've got something like, you know, three years worth of cash there to support that army size, the second we get into negative morale, we lose. Because when you go below your treasury, you get ne negative 75% to your army morale. That would be the end of us. And if we lose this war, we lose everything. In fact, I think we just lose the game because it's overthrowing us. Let's just see what happens if we surrender. Um, yeah, hiking our rank ab abdicates. We haven't got an air. So we would be we would be game over at that stage. So they're moving over there. 2,000 stack here. Let's move up and deal with them. So because this is a small army, but our rank's leading it. So I, I'm pretty confident that this army could smash anything. There is 4,000 there, though. Careful. We'll do with the 700 stack. I like seeing all these victory pop-ups. That's good. This is going to be close. What are we cross? Are we taking a river crossing? It's just defensive bonus because we're in uh, Valen Woods. But we do have 52 marshal, so this should be no problem at all. Look at that! Immediately smash the center there. I'm just interested in what his buffs are to the. Uh wow. That's pretty impressive. Alright. Let's move south. Uh, perhaps if you're on pause. I was thinking, why is nothing, why is nothing moving? Oh, wow. I've, I've not seen this event before, so I've never actually had it so that they get a higher level of the Thune. Proficient. Ah, that's cool. I've only ever had the level 1, even with really long-term characters. Sorry, someone was ringing my phone, so I was a little distracted. Alright, let's, uh... Okay, so they did actually attack the Imperial Isle. Are we going to survive that? We can raise some armies. Yeah, we're easily going to survive that. They took a really heavy river crossing. That was a straight crossing as well. Wow. Let's chase them down. Why not? It's the only problems they can get there. They're not sending boats up the nib, and let's be realistic. It's the AI. They, they never know how boats work. We've got to keep these armies moving. That's going to cost me a lot of uh, just a lot of time, if anything else. What's our cash looking like? Minus 51 gold a month. Right, that's fine. Uh, yeah, let's counter siege this province. Let's not get cocky, because they've still got a lot more men than us. You stay in this province. And oh, no, wait, no, wait. That's a province we've seen. I'm getting confused now. All right. Have they got any big stacks? Okay, they got 10, sorry, 8,000 there. 
We've got 10,000. So we, what we want to do is this. They get a defensive bonus, but it doesn't matter because it makes their archers better. And I assume they haven't got a huge amount of archers. Um, it's probably mostly all light infantry because a lot of the revolts, especially around this area of the map, are going to be tribal. So it's probably all light infantry. We're going to be facing it down with cavalry, heavy infantry, battle mages. So I think we'll probably quite handily win this. Let's keep an eye on it. The center's going to fall almost immediately. Wow. Oh, we became a more proficient commander as well. Are we now legendary? Wow. This has been a really good episode for Outrang's traits getting buffed. Look at that. We're just melting that army now. 50%. Let's chase them down because they're still a pretty significant size. We've got 1,000 units there. We really have nothing on this side of the map at all, do we? Fortunately, we've got good vision there uh, on this side of Cyrodiil. So we can see if any armies cross. You move south and hit that. I want a better commander on the center, though. We're going to lose our flank on Elrang's army. Not that that's a big deal. Have we got any... We've got no commanders on this one. Let's move Enaras over to the center. I think we've dealt with most of the armies in Vaylandwood. Like I said, it's all tribal, so they're not actually going to have that many troops. The ones we need to worry about are the ones in Cyrodiil. Alright, so they're actually going to march into us because he's got... Because of Elrang's buffs... Slightly faster organization and movement speed. So there, we're going to get the bonuses from the province now. What province type are we in, actually? Hills. So battle mage get buff and archers get buff. Right. Better understanding of military matters. Okay, we might as well deal with that small stat there. We're winning the battles over there. Uh, can't really see any significant stacks over here. I'm just going to leave these guys to siege. Right, we've got victory. We need to be doing something with this 9,000 men. You chase those down, finish them off. You chase those down, finish them off. And then immediately double back to the capital. It's a good job I had those troops there. Because uh, otherwise they could have easily uh, ramped up some, some war score. Plus it was a 5,000 stack. And we would have taken a straight crossing. Uh, oh, my treasured Argonian shellback has passed away. Sure. I mean, our coffers are very quickly emptying. But why not? Hold a funeral for our Argonian shell back. Bless him. This is going to be a huge video for me to upload. That's my biggest worry right now. I'm not losing, you know, the entire kingdom. Probably my ISP going to cut me off. All right. Um, why not? Let's let's keep doing the siege of Kavach. I mean, it's a it's a duchy, so we do get more war score relative to anywhere else. We're just going to let this unit count siege until we see something worth taking out. They're our smallest army, I believe. Oh yeah, besides this little stack of Deidre. Speaking of which, we could probably summon some more. Moderate version. Lesser version. We're going to have those reinforce this stack here. 6,000 men, I think, is more than enough to hold the Imperial Isle. They did actually send boats. Oh no, wait, they're probably from there, aren't they? Because they're a merchant republic. I would have been quite impressed if they managed to send boats all the way up there. Alright, we've got... About 400 men in that province there. Let's move you over just to siege. Let's... Ah. Okay, so we've got... Roughly about 600 men. Although they have just split up their units. Let's move across. We're just looking to pick it wherever we can now. Some more score. We can siege that without having to worry about it. 65%. I didn't want to say it earlier, but I'm pretty sure... We're going to quite comfortably win at this stage. And I don't think we would have if we didn't have the huge amount of gold left over in the treasury. All those investments we did early on really, really helped out. Uh, why did I do that? We don't want to do that at all. These guys are supposed to be reinforcing them, right? Uh, we've got a few stacks here I'd like to sort of sweep up. We really don't want these guys forming together. I mean, luckily we had these little points sort of around, dotted around Cyril so that we could see if they had any larger stacks. They, they might get something together here, but again, I don't think it's anything worth worrying about. Uh, I'm going to assault that. Superior alien sword, sure. It's a gift for a prince, I suppose. 67%. 
And what this is going to do is this is going to solve all of our problems in one swoop. So what we've got is every single Ideal Masters. I assume every single one. There might be a couple that didn't. Let's just have a look around. No, that is definitely every single Ideal Masters vassal. Besides sub-vassals, so vassals under uh, Oriel worshippers. And what we can do is they're all going to be in our prison and we revoke every single title. That might take a while. And I might do that off camera because that's going to be really boring. Because they're in prison, we won't get any revolts or anything like that. So it'll just be me revoking it and dishing it out to someone new. Could we catch that army? Or is it is it worth just sitting around sieging now? How many troops have they got left is the real question. 3,500. Yeah, there's no more war score really to get from, from battles. We're more or less just sweeping them up. I wish there was a way to quick swap commanders around. Just, like, drag him over into the center, for example. That'd be really cool if we could do that. Never mind. Let's wait for CK3. I do feel bad for all these mod makers, because when CK3 comes out, there's probably going to be a lot of demand, particularly for, like, the Elder Kings, uh, Game of Thrones as well. They're going to be expected to remake those for, Elder for uh, CK3. But we've got a couple more expansions out of CK2, so let's not worry about it. Keeper of the Avery. I mean, all of our... I mean, this is what it's going to look like when we get Aeliad worship back into Cyrodiil. All our vassals are going to love us. And because we're dishing out titles directly, we're also going to get the plus, you know, 500 bonus for giving them titles in all of the sub-provinces. There's a thousand men there. Is that the last of their army? More or less. That's the bulk of their army. Okay. We can assault, afford to assault these somewhat. Alright. Luga died of poor health. Oh no, Luga. Wait, I was going to marry her, wasn't I? For the cult of Malakath. I remember. R.I.P. Luga. Gone and forgotten. We can imprison. What's he doing? No, look. I'm not imprisoning any other vassals. We've, we've had enough. We don't want to make any more enemies. So we take that out. That'll be the most of their army. These guys need to have a new province to siege. Oh, there's me thinking, oh, these are the rebellions because... I'm going by the red border. Hang on a minute. No, it's everything else. Yeah, I remember now. Uh, we gain war knowledge, which increases military spread rate by 50%. Wow. Okay. That'll help out with all the heavy infantry and battle mage. Uh, oh, she's surrendering. A white piece. Absolutely not. I was going to say, we're at 90%. Are you crazy? She knows it's over. Now she's at 100%. Why is that? Oh, because we smashed that, that huge stack of men. Right. Thank you very much. Let's look at our prison. Holy shit. It was every single one of them. We could do a mass execution. We could, Why don't we just execute? Wait, tyrannical. They rebelled. Ah. We could sacrifice them. I suppose that's another way. Sacrifice the prisoner? Let's wait. We'll sacrifice the ones where we're their direct heir, because what that will do is that will just give us their title without having to worry about... Oh. Some Deidre do not accept human sacrifice. Maybe Clavicus Vile is one of them. Alright. Well, let's go through and have a look. Starting from the top. Um, you. Let's revoke everything you have. Since these are traitor vassals will not accept. Thank you very much. Only ideal masters worship will accept. So we can only take, because of how the war system works... If they rebel, you can only revoke their top-level title without, well, normally. But because they're ideal masters, we can just uh, get rid of them all. Still viewed as tyrannical, so we won't be doing that. Thank God for religious revocation. The City of Broken Sails, thank you very much. This could take some time. Uh, 17. I'm just keeping an eye on the the domain screen up here. 18 out of 9. That's fine. Oh, God. This is going to take so long. We've got 62 prisoners, all of which hold about half a dozen duchies. So what I'll do, I will stop it here. Because nobody, I don't think really anybody wants to see me revoking these titles and then generating new people and dishing them out. I'm just going to be clicking include all lower titles, but that's going to be it. I will start off the next episode by showing you the reshuffled map, by showing you hopefully uh, 
how much our new vassals love us and showing that there are no more ideal masters. If there's anything else besides that I need to do, I won't do it in this episode, don't worry about it. So you won't miss anything besides me revoking titles. Wow, that might be the biggest war in CK2 I've ever seen, just by province size, but that was crazy. Okay, sweet. I guess these guys probably don't like us now. Oh, they're, they're actually not too bothered. Sure. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching. Um, next episode, we'll be going over the province changes. And then, of course, we've got Aran's goals. Uh, convert heathens. We can almost cross that off. We're, we're pretty much done with that now. Get Amulet of Kings. That's what I want to know for next episode. I want people to vote on that so we can decide whether or not to go on this adventure I've set up for us to Sancrator. I think that's everything. Alright.